Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I want to show you how to draw one of my favorite movie characters, and that is Gizmo from the Gremlins movies. So to start off with this, we're going to begin with his eye. And I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to draw a line that just goes up with a curve, and then it's going to come down like this. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that just goes down and then curves up like this. Then I'm going to leave some space and starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just does the same thing. I'm going to curve up and then down. And then I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Just go down and then up like this. Now. Right around his eyes, I'm going to draw a little line that just curves up and then goes down like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing underneath. It's just going to go down and then curve back up. Same thing here, just going to draw this up and then down here. And then down and then up here like this. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that curves like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then I'm going to make a little line. Same thing here. And then I'm going to color in most of this. And I'm just going to leave a little bit white for like a little shine in his eye. Right there. Now for his nose. So I'm going to start right here, like right between the eyes, and I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to curve up, and then around, and then back like this. Then I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go down on each side for his mouth. Then I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of curves up. I'm going to go down, and then curve back up like this. Then I'm going to make two little curved lines right here. And then I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down, it's going to go up, down, and then up again, kind of like a mustache shape. Then inside his nose, I'm just going to make two little dots for his nostrils. Then starting right here, I'm going to make his head. Now he's really furry, so I'm going to draw these fur lines in here. So as I draw, I'm just going to make some of these kind of pointy little curved lines, and I'm just going to go all the way around, and I'm going to curve down and then up to his mouth. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, just kind of curve down, and then go up. Now, he has a big white spot right around his face, so I'm just going to draw a little line that just kind of goes right around here. And then I'm going to start here and just kind of curve it down here to his mouth. Now for his ears. So starting right here, I'm going to make some long, kind of like pointy lines that just kind of move down like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I want them to just kind of be all over the place so it looks like they're really furry. And now for his ears. So starting here, I'm going to, he's got really big ears. So I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up. And then I'm going to go around and then just kind of curve it back, leave a little space, and then come down here. Then I'm going to draw a little line. It's just going to kind of curve out down and then it's just going to curve around to here. And then same thing on this side. I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to go up. It's going to curve out and then come back a little bit, leave a little space and then come down. Then right here I'm just going to kind of make some wiggly lines and then a big curve line that comes to here. Then I'm just going to make a few little lines inside of here just for some details.
Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down with some more of these kind of pointy lines. And then when I get to here, I'm going to draw his fingers. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space, and I'm going to start a line that just kind of curves down. And then it's just going to come back up like this, kind of like a little jelly bean shape. Then I'm going to draw another one right here. And then starting right here, I'm going to just draw one that kind of goes up and then back down like this. Then I'm just going to draw some more lines and just kind of curve up. Then I'm going to draw some little curved lines on each of these for his fingernails. Now, right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve down and then go back up like a little goatee. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line. It's just going to go out just a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to curve it down and then bring it back towards the body. And then for this hand, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes up and then down. Another one here that goes out and comes back. Another one here. And that's just going to go right back towards the arm. I'm going to add a little curve line right here just to show where the palm is. Then right here, I'm going to make some more of these kind of pointy lines. And I'm going to draw them out and then curve them in. And his body's really small compared to his head, so I'm going to curve him right to here. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. And I'm going to bring these lines all the way up here. And then I'm going to draw some more that go down here to there. Then I'm just going to draw a couple little bumps down here for his toes. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the side. Then I'm just going to draw a little curved line here. I'm going to put another little kind of spiky curved line around here. Then one that's just going to kind of go down to here. And then one that goes to here. And then right above here, I'm just going to draw some little kind of spiky curved lines for eyebrows. And there you go. There is your drawing of Gizmo from Gremlins. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.